Hey everyone, Ragnar here. Welcome to another video. On today's video, I'm bringing you one of the most used bases in Legends. But it is for a good reason. I hate when I see this base in every one of my attacks. I know that probably I'm not gonna triple it. So I have moved the traps a bit and you can change them as well to trap whatever you are being hit by the most. I was getting hit by a lot of hybrids so that's why I moved my traps accordingly. In the CC I usually put a nice hand as it stalls the queen charges that come from the north and gives time for my scatters to damage the queen. In my last two days in Legends for this season I ended up getting a minus 175 and a minus 188 which is really good when you are in the 5500 trophy range usually it's around 230 to 250 obviously the higher you go the more it will get tripled however I was surprised how well it defended even though almost everyone is running it so in the last four days it gave me three one stars and only one triple rest were low percent two stars and also had a few 90 percent two stars I'll show you a few defenses, a couple against the Goey Zubuiz uh, with the 8 Quakes, a Yeti Bobat, a Hybrid, a Yeti Smash, a Drag Bat, and also one that I haven't seen yet, which is a Super Giant Super Archer Spam. So let's go to the first attack. So this is the first attack from Sons of Thunder, and he's coming in with uh, 4 Golems, the uh, Witches, and the Super Wizards Quaking the center of the base he still has four quakes probably he's going to be using them on the town hall as he's bringing the log launcher as we know the four quakes if it damages the town hall and you use a log launcher for it he will bring it down so he uses the four quakes the last four quakes quite late um i think the thing with this base as well is just having all those compartments as long if you don't bring super wall breakers or normal wall breakers or something like that and you just go on to two compartments then there's always one corner compartment that has a lot of defenses like one corner compartment has an eagle another corner compartment has a multi inferno the same on the other side with a hero either the royal champ or the queen and the other compartment has a town hall so it really depends it, it's hard to know where to come from to get this base here we've got another approach with the golem and uh, quakes with the super wizards and uh, which is he quakes all the way through for the town hall coming in from the other side around like four o'clock that's usually what i do as well when i'm coming in with a long launcher and a spam on this base and then i usually use the super wolf breaker on the eagle compartment or use my rc now the other good thing about this base is that if you're bringing the rc the hero that is next to the eagle is the king and he kills the RC very quickly unless if you have something else tanking like on this occasion however as you can see nothing passed to my town hall so the queen now it's there but she doesn't have an ability so the cannon is going to end up killing her and then oh well the mortar and now the warden can't kill the town hall by himself so we're gonna get a one star from this base against ass kick so i'm guessing it was the other way around now the third attack that i'm bringing you as well is um, this one which is the yeti bobat so let's see what x mod does um so he's coming in with an e-drag from the south so he wants his e-drag to go all the way up and try to get rid of the eagle a black mine hits one of his e-drags but that's all right both e-drags are there in the center they should be getting rid of the eagle however the sweeper is going to be pushing them back the other fence ends up killing that e-drag and the other one decided to take a fly to the rest of the base and get killed by the other fence before getting the eagle now he's starting from eight o'clock with the wall breaker to go all the way into the town hall this is the warning ability nice and early just to make sure that the wall worker gets all the way through however there's so much damage there that it's not gonna get through and uh, everything starts getting stalled there obviously since he went on that compartment there's nothing that opened the center compartment probably i would have used the wall breaker a little bit more to move the south so it opened a few more compartments everything ended up walking and thanks to the multi inferno everything is also going to be dying uses a rage for his queen on a desperate mode trying to get the town hall but she's not gonna get it he's starting with his best use the first freeze or the freeze that he had for the multi inferno bats aren't gonna survive the town hall they die 
He still has a few Yetis and the Warren with the healers, but they're not gonna do much. He runs out of time and end up getting 81% one star with a Yeti Bobat. Now the hybrid. Now this attacker came in with a hybrid um, a little bit different to what I usually see. Usually what I've seen is they either come with a Queen Charge from 12, which I've tried, or they start they do the Lex, which is the Queen Charge, but then they let her walk down to the side towards the mortar, and then will break her in to where he's bringing his Queen in. So, and then they start the hybrid from either 9 or from 3, depending on where the Queen went. And the Queen is the one that ends up getting the Town Hall or um, the Bolo Champion. Um, However, in this occasion, he did something a little bit different. The queen gets stalled with the ice golem, which is why I like having an ice golem there. Um, it stalls her up, so it kills a bit of time. And also because the scatters are there with the expos, they do end up hitting quite a fair bit of damage. So she didn't end up going to ability, but a lot of the time I do see her going into ability. He starts with his hybrid. I do have my bomb, my giant bombs, my tornado trap and everything set up in a way that it will stop hybrid or at least um, slow it down quite a fair bit. So the, the base that I put in the link in the description below is not the normal base that you will see always in Legends, so the traps are a little bit different, so I definitely suggest changing them if you see that it's not working for you. Um, you just trap whatever entry you're getting the most. For me, I was getting hit with a lot of hybrids, so I decided to trap that hybrid and that exact entry, and it ended up working. Now, I put this uh, defense as well, which is a uh, Yeti Smash, but he's also bringing a nice hound. I'm really not sure why this player is bringing a nice hound. Um, I have no idea. Uh, usually when I see a hound or a nice hound with the Grand Army, I also see invisibility spells and they use it for um, tanking for the blimp, for the Super Wiz, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. So he's coming in with a charge that I told you that usually happens where they go into the town hall. Now I've got quite a few black mines where the expo is. What players usually do is they send a super wall breaker onto that area to make the queen go inside and get rid of the scatters. So that's why I put all of my black mines and bombs in that area. This player uses a jump, which is also going to help his yetis and bullets to go inside. He's also putting a siege barracks that is going to be getting real more defenses and once uh, the things come out of the siege barracks they're going to be going onto the nano clock compartment he has a second jump that makes everything go into the center of the base however as you can see there's way too much damage in that center of the base and if you don't have a warning ability a heal or something in there everything dies so quickly now the other thing is that if you come in directly into the town hall the eagle stay standing till the end which is uh, another reason why this base is so strong you basically want to get rid of that eagle asap but um also because usually three infernos are on multi it's also really good against spam so i definitely suggest running this base if you're in legends as i said between 5000 5600 trophy mark is really good this is around the 5500 trophy mark so it depended really well which is why i'm bringing it to you guys so probably most of you already have this base but um yeah i just wanted to bring it to you just in case that you've seen it a trillion times but you don't have the link i can give it to you so here we've got a drag pack as well so he's doing three heroes for the eagle getting rid of it nice and early so he's also creating a bit of a uh, funnel for his dragons he's going to bring them from nine to seven all the way in he also has a blimp that he's going to be able to send behind his dragons uh, so here it comes he's waiting for his vulnerability until they're there in the center where there's a lot of damage which is really good by him this is a bridge the town hall goes down they pull the ice hound the ice hound is going to start pulling a couple of uh, dragons to the side there's no more dragons there's only one dragon in the center of the base which ends up killing the RC, but now there's only the multi inferno which ends up killing all of his bats since he didn't have any more freezes left. That um, dragon went down. They do end up killing the multi inferno, but the RC and the Warren die. He 
he only has that dragon left and he doesn't much, have much time and even if he had much time left um, that archer tower would have killed that dragon as he was going through the defenses and finally I've got this attack I decided to put it because I haven't seen it yet it's another spam with the super giants and super arches I've shown you how strong they actually are I haven't used them the combination of the super giant and super archer but I'm guessing it's pretty good. Now on the original base, this is where the tornado trap is, where the eagle is, but I've moved it. So uh, I don't know if he was expecting that or not, but he gets the eagle down nice and quick with a normal Yeti bomb. Now he brings all his giants and super arches from 3 to 4 o'clock to start going through the base. He doesn't have any jumps, but we know that the super giants can go through walls nice and quick. He uses the earthquakes to open that compartment to go into the town hall, he uses the poison for the CC, which was only the arches. Um, and obviously the ice pups now uh, uses the one ability but he doesn't have any more troops left i think he only had one archer left nothing goes into the tank hall except for the royal champion so she's going to clutch the two stuff but as you can see he only has the warrior champion left and a headhunter and they both die and this is going to be a low two star percent at 71 percent well, that's the base. I'm um, leaving the base link in the description below. Give it a go. It's definitely a very good base. I think Gaku used to, used to run it maybe like a couple of months ago. And unlike bases that everyone runs, this one still defends. Like, uh, I still get so many defenses. I can't believe that in the last four days of Legends, it only got triple once. So, um, okay, that's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time with more Clash. See ya.